What you see over there is the world's biggest working machine. In Janschwal, Germany, just six miles from the Polish border, a vast mining operation is churning at full steam. We excavate about 40,000 tons uh, a day from this open cast mine. Sometimes running 24 hours a day, this monstrous machine, owned by the Swedish company Vattenfall, gnaws away the topsoil and chews into an eight meter seam of brown coal or lignite, one of the most polluting of all fossil fuels. Despite the enormous quantity of coal extracted here, it is still not enough to satisfy the daily needs of the nearby plant, which can provide power to six million households. And that's a problem. In the last three years, we saw an increase of the demand of uh, lignite energy. The increase is one effect uh, of the energy transition for Germany decided to scale down its nuclear energy and you need another source of stable energy supply to fill in this gap. This is lignite. Germany's brown coal consumption in 2013 reached its highest level in more than 20 years. Ironically, this has happened as the country is making an unprecedented shift to renewables like wind and solar, part of an audacious program here called the Energiewende, or Energy Transition, which began in earnest after the nuclear disaster in Fukushima, Japan. Germany plans to phase out all its nuclear reactors by 2022, funneling billions of dollars into renewable technologies. And while Germany now gets almost 25% of its energy from renewables, the transition has had unintended consequences. Der Betriebsprozess, wo wir stehen und wo wir wirtschaften, ist 1560 das erste Mal im Familienbesitz erwähnt worden. In the village of Aderwash sits the Schulz family farm. Die die Schweine liegen schon wieder ein Stückchen weiter weg. Und die Hähnchen und die Biogasanlage sehen wir nachher im Hintergrund, die sind fast einen ganzen Kilometer vom, äh, vom Hof entfernt. The farm, indeed the entire village, sits on land that the mining company would like to strip away to get at the coal underneath. To do so, the entire village will have to be moved. About 900 people will be uh, resettled. It means a church for a church, it means a school for a school. The neighbor should stay with his neighbor. So this is what we are going to do uh, together with the people, together with the community. Für uns alle bedeutet das hier natürlich nicht nur der Verlust der Heimat, sondern der Verlust der Lebensgrundlage, des Lebensmittelpunktes, Verlust der Betriebsstätten und der, ja, Einkommensquelle. The plan to expand the mine, which would not start until 2015, requires the approval of state authorities, which is still pending. But in the meantime, the fate of the village is in limbo. Diese Ungewissheit, dieses nicht wissen, was kommt hinterher, und das vergleiche ich immer mit jemandem, der, wo der Verlust der, 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 des Arbeitsplatzes droht und er das schon weiß, aber noch nicht weiß, wie geht es hinterher weiter. It's a very old, yes, come in. The past is literally stamped on the village's identity. The bell that hangs in the church was forged before Columbus sailed for America. And some here, like Christian Hushka, see the proposed expansion as a desecration of the village's most cherished places. Das sind meine, meine Großeltern. Meine Oma hat sich hier sehr wohl gefühlt verdammt wurde. Das waren die, also, sie hat immer gesagt, das waren die schönsten Jahre ihres, ihres Lebens, weil, weil sie sich so, na, weil sie so befreit war von allen, von allen Lasten. Meine Mutter, die liegt weiter da oben, drei Reihen weiter, ähm, da wie es natürlich noch schlimmer. Also. Herr Handreck ist im Telefonbuch zu finden, braucht doch alle möglichen Unterstützung. The plan has sparked intense controversy here, as those whose lives will be affected have trouble reconciling Germany's green goals with a push to dramatically expand production of such a dirty fossil fuel. If the mine cannot expand, it will eventually be closed, and supporters of the expansion here say that that will be a massive hit 
to the region's economy. Over 20,000 jobs are in brown coal mining and that's the heart of the region. Village residents like Ulrich Schultz feel trapped and helpless. And while the decision to expand the mine looms in the not too distant future, they face the prospect of losing their homes with a mixture of anger and classic German stoicism. Man muss eben auf dem Wasserhahn zudrehen können, sprich den Schalter umlegen und auch mal abschalten und sagen jetzt, äh, denken wir mal nicht daran.